Fury, and I think that hurt. And oh, that uppercut! Again. That was lovely. Right hand. Fury, second professional fight of his career, just 19 years old. Tyson, Dad, John, sitting at ringside, watching his progress. And he'll be wanting to produce an impressive performance. Big lad, weighed in at 13 stone one for this one. Six foot one and a real chiseled physique. Callum Hyde against him, slightly the tallest, down six foot two. And he's a, a serial loser, but generally goes the distance. Well, you can see Hyde already, you know, the way he sort of sits back on that, on that back foot. So he just makes it a hard side to reach. You've got to make sure you just take a little bit bigger step with that front foot to then throw your right hand over the top. You lift that chin up there, Hyde, and he leans back. If you don't take a big step with the front foot, you're not going to get the range. Good body shot there. That's put him down. That has put him down. And he's feeling the pain of that. And there's an indication that Tommy Fury has some real weight in his punches. And that, Barry, is going to be a pain that stays. He's doing the right thing here. Jumping straight on him now, Fury. Not get too close. Give himself a little bit of space to let the punches flow. Ref just warning him about punches around the back. Oh, yeah. that's another terrific shot. Big right jump, down he went, and I think that might be it. Now he's had enough, it's all over. He's taken the knee, as they say, and all over. And straight away, going looking for Binyenda. Big attack from the opening bell puts him down. And he came out like a bullet there, didn't he? Fury comes blazing, rushed a little bit of his work, but that last little right hand was a lovely little shot. Well, can Binyenda get through this early onslaught? It doesn't look good for the pole. Down for a second time, complaining he had a punch around the back of the head. But the referee rules it as a legitimate knockdown. Wants to see him walk forward. He's happy. That's a good right hand there from Fury. And the referee says enough is enough. Pinienda, I don't think, through one. It's custom to seeing. He's not been able to tee off with big power shots so far on this tough Lithuanian. Oh, now he's, now he's got there, and uh, I think that Krajewski certainly felt the weight of that punch and wanted to hold on. Yeah, three or four punch combo that went in there from Fury, and I think that hurt. And oh, uppercut! Again. That was lovely. Right hand, right uppercut, put him away, and he ain't getting up from that. Super shot that finishes the job, really. He's on his way down after this shot. Great shot there with that right uppercut, well measured. And that's a good performance. Four winner and still undefeated, Tommy TNT Fury. That's for real. Only had some 12 amateur, by, uh, amateur bouts before turning pro. Yeah, certainly didn't have the amateur pedigree like uh, Tyson did. But uh, nevertheless, he has all his contests of Scott Williams, but he didn't really tell the story because every... Oh, that's a good shot. That right no. hand to the body shoulder, sorry. Real Four. power punch. Four. It was just better to say, John, that Williams, every Seven. opponent that he's fought, has, he's boxed everyone with a winning record, so he goes in against good opponents. But here he's, t he's shipping a couple of big shots early on. Well, he's going to have his work cut out now to get through this opening round, and he goes looking for the body again. The pain remains from that right hand into the body, and I wonder if the fight might be ending here. Maybe not. The gum shield's come out, and so he's going to get a little bit longer to recover. Yeah, the gum shield's out. These are vital seconds for him to, to recover. The body shots that are going in that's causing that pain. Let's just give him an extra few... 10 or 15 seconds to try and get through it. 
Fury looking to get him out of here now. Just a few seconds remaining. It's been the body shots which have done the damage, specifically that right hand. And when it found the same target again, there it goes in again. And Fury looking for that punch, but not quite able to find the spot. But still, 20 seconds remaining, according to our clock. Yeah, it's that right hand, isn't it, that's under the, the left elbow of Williams that's doing most of the damage. Williams trying to hold and just stop him from working. So a very, very emphatic opening round for Tommy Fury. But... Here's that little feint from Fury. Feint with the jab. Well, you heard that one, it's not a running track. Scott Williams was literally jogging away to stay clear. It's only going to be a matter of time, isn't it? So Fury just got to just create a bit of space. And land the shots. Just got to control the distance with that jab. There it is, there. And then set up that right hand. Well, he already knows that if he finds the target, that his man will go. He's got to be careful not to stifle his own work. That's right, John. That's why that jab is so important to measure the gap and, and just create enough space and room to land that right hand then and just stay at a distance where you can let the shots go without the opponent grabbing you. Traitors by Curtis Gargano, Scott Williams, who, what was his record, something like... 52 fights and win one but he, he always used to go the distance Curtis who is one of the one of the great survivors of the sport and he'll know all about how to fiddle your way through a fight and he'll be giving all his advice and words of encouragement to Scott to try and do precisely that against Tommy Fury oh but that's one, right on the two, button now is three. he going to get up from that no, I very much I doubt it no I think six, it's going to finish right seven. there Bravely oh. gets to his feet, but referee Bob Williams says no, that's enough. Fight all over in the second round. Well, for Undefeated Tommy TNT Fury. The winning story goes on. It's all looking good for Tommy Fury so far.